Turn with me to the book of Exodus chapter 34. Fungua pamoja nami kitabu cha kutoka mlango wa 34. Exodus 34. Kutoka 34. Verses 10 to 17. Mstari wa 10 hadi 17. Exodus 34 verse 10. Kutoka 34 mstari wa 10. He says, "Then the Lord said, I am making a covenant with you before all your people I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world." Anasema kisha Bwana akasema, "Tazama Ninafanya agano mbele ya watu wako wote. Mbele ya watu wako wote nitafanya maajabu ambayo hayajafanyika katika taifa lolote katika ulimwengu wote. The people you live among will see how awesome is the work that I the Lord will do for you. Watu wale mnaishi miongoni mwao wataona jinsi ilivyo ya kushangaza ile kazi nitakayowafanyia mimi bwana wenu. And he says here. Na anasema hapa. Obey what I command you today. Ti yale ninayokuamuru leo. I will drive out before you the Amorites. Tazama na wafukuza mbele yako wa Amori. The Canaanites. Wa Kanani. The Hittites. Wa Hiti. Perizzites. Wa Perizi. The Hivites. Wa Hivi. And the Jebusites. Na wa Yebusi. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land where you are going. Uwe mwangalifu usifanye agano na wale wanakaa katika inji ile unayoiendea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he says or they will be a snare among you. Na anasema la sivyo watakuwa mtego katikati yako. Break down their altars, smash their sacred stones and cut down their Asherah poles. Bomoa madhabahu zao, vunja mawe yao ya kuabudia na ukatekate nguzo zao za ashera. Do not worship any other god for the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous god. Usiabudu Mungu mwingine kwa kuwa Bwana ambaye jina lake ni wivu ni Mungu mwenye wivu. Be careful not to make a treaty with those who live in the land for when they prostitute themselves to their gods and sacrifice to them they will invite you and you will eat their sacrifices. Uwe mwangalifu usifanye agano na wale watu wanaoishi katika inchi kwa maana wakati wanapojifanyia ukahaba kwa miungu yao na kuwatolea kafara watakualika wewe nawe utakula sadaka za matambiko yao And when you choose some of their daughters as wives for your sons those daughters prostitute themselves to their gods and they will lead your sons to do the same Unapo wachagua baadhi ya binti zao kuwa wake wa wana wenu na binti hao wakajifanyia ukahaba kwa miungu yao watawaongoza wana wenu kufanya vivyo hivyo The Lord is asking one question. Bwana anauliza swali moja. Why has the church Ni kwa nini kanisa gone ahead and made treaties with the Jebusites? Limeendelea na kufanya maagizo na wayebusi. The Hivites wa hivi of this world wa ulimwengu huu why kwa nini the lord said you are holy people bwana alisema kwamba ninyi ni watu takatifu but why lakini kwa nini and he said don't mix na anasema msijichanganye if you look at the dictionary meaning of the word treaty ukitazama maana ya kamusi ya neno treaty treaty means to agree with to make agreement with treaty inamaanisha kukubaliana na kufanya maagano na That is what the church has done. Hicho ndicho kanisa limefanya. Where are the bishops of Pentecostal churches? Ambapo maaskofu wa kanisa la Kipentecoste? The Hindu priest Hindu. Makuhani wa Wahindu. The Buddhist priest? Makuhani wa Wabuddha. The Muslim imam? Maimamu wa Waislamu. They met together and they gave a statement to the nation. Walikutana pamoja na wakatoa ujumbe kwa taifa. They called it interfaith. Fellowship. Wakaita ushirika wa mchanganyiko wa madini. 
I watched and I trembled. Nilitazama na nikatetemeka. And I asked myself. Na nikajiuliza. How then can I go and evangelize the Buddhist, the Hindu and the Muslim? Basi itawezaje kwenda na kuwahubiria waislamu, wahindi na wabudha? Because they have already made treaty with the Pentecostal. They said, let us respect each other. Manake tayari wamefanya maagano na wapentecoste, wamesema tuheshimiane. You respect me I respect you. Ni heshimu nami ni kuheshimu. It's a treaty of agreement. Ni maagano makubaliano. In other words they have agreed our gods are equal. Kwa maneno mengine wamekubaliana kwamba Mungu wetu ni sawa. That is what the church has done. Hicho ndicho kanisa limefanya. That's why homosexuals are now pastors in churches. Na ndio manake mashoga ni wachungaji kanisani. The church has gone and intermarried with the Amorites. Kanisa limeenda na kuoana na waamori. The Jebusites, Wayebusi, the Hivites, the Hittites. Wahivi na Wahiti. Intermarriage. Ndoa ya mchanganyiko. That is a very big challenge for the church for me because they have agreed that their gods are equal. Hiyo ni changamoto kubwa kabisa kwa kanisa kwangu mimi manake wamekubaliana kwamba Mungu wao ni sawa. How can I now go there and say please Muslim I want to convert you to Jesus. Nawezaje kwenda kule na kusema kwamba tafadhali Muislamu nataka nikugeuze kwa Yesu. They say no but we have already made an agreement. Wanasema kwamba lakini tayari tumefanya maagano that our gods are equal. Kwamba Mungu wetu ni sawa. Jehovah is equal to the Buddhist, to the Hindu idol, to the Muslim kwamba Yehova ni sawa na Mungu wa Wabuddha, Wahindi na Waislamu. Tumekubaliana. That is now where the power of God must come in. Hapo ndipo ambapo lazima sasa nguvu za Mungu ziingilie kati. Now only the power of God. Sasa ni nguvu za Mungu peke yake. Will prove which God, the God that answers by fire. Zitadhibitisha ni Mungu gani? Mungu anayejibu kwa moto. That will be the God we will worship. Huyo atakuwa Mungu tutakayemwabudu. That will be the true God. Huyo atakuwa ndiye Mungu wa kweli. So if you need to come out with that resolution. Na kwa hivyo mnapaswa kujitokeza na huo uamuzi. We need to clean up the pulpit. Tunahitajika kusafisha madhabau. The pastors need to clean up the message. Wachungaji wanapaswa kusafisha ujumbe. The Lord is asking one question. Bwana anauliza swali moja. Why has the church? Ni kwa nini kanisa? gone ahead and made treaties with the Jebusites limeendelea na kufanya maagizo na wayebusi the Hivites wahivi of this world wa ulimwengu huu